on fires burning bright Funky faces in the night I remember Halloween Dead cats hanging from poles Little dead around I remember Halloween All right, we're here with Russ Reiner here at the Days of the Dead. How you doing? I'm doing real well. How about you? I'm doing great. No. Nope. Seems like you've been getting some pretty good interviews over the weekend. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's been awesome. Excellent. Very yeah. good. That was John Russo and George Romero co-wrote the original Night of the Living Dead. Mm -hmm. I produced it. You produced it, okay. And, and uh, I also played the character of John, the brother oh, of in, in the cemetery yeah, at the beginning yeah. of the film. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Bill Mosley played you again later on. As, but I'm the real well, John. The real he's the he's the pretend John. He's Johnny number two. Yeah. Do a lot of people ask you to do the line? Uh, quite a few. Yeah. 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 Which line are you talking about? They're coming to get you, Barbara. You do it pretty well yourself. Yeah, you know, that's pretty good. Uh, but you do know that each time you say that line or you think that line. You owe me a quarter. Oh, I was going to say that. Is that, that what those that's are for? What, that's what these quarters are oh, all man. about right here. People, have, it's the honor system, but people are coming up plunking down quarters yeah. because they said they've been using it. That probably to get you. Can you change the 20? <laughs> <laughs> did you ever think, you know, that would be like such an iconic line that just everybody knows? No, I don't think any of us had any anticipation that the that the film would be around so many years later. Uh, you know, we've uh, we we set out to do the best film we could, uh, and here it is, many 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 years later, and it's still pretty popular. Oh, definitely. Now I know there's like a, you know, one of the problems is like other people can uh, use the film and do different uh, you know versions of it. Does that ever bother you? Uh, it bothers me constantly because we have had a running battle with the copyright, with the U.S. Copyright Office. Uh, they claim the picture is in public domain. We claim that it is not, uh, except it's the little guys against the government. Right, so we can uh, I mean, if, if we had endless amounts of money, we could appeal to the Supreme Court, uh, but we don't have any endless right. amounts of money. Now, is it all right if someone would like ask your permission, like, you know, I want to do something? Then some people just do whatever they want. Yeah, ordinarily, if if we if we if someone asks for permission, uh, Image Ten, which is the company that owns uh, the, the rights to the picture, and John Russo and I are the sure. trustees of that corporation. If it's a legitimate sure? use, we'll generally do it. But I mean, so many people, you know, sell Night of the Living Dead out of the back of their car and. Uh, no, that doesn't make us very happy. Yeah, that was actually a true story. When I was uh, I was about six years old, my brother used to take me to uh, the driving, and uh, we I saw it when I was a little kid. And she always told me uh, the scene where where the car explodes and all the zombies are in the back. She'd tell me, oh, "Don't worry, it's just a barbecue." <laughs> I've always wanted to tell somebody from Dead uh, Night of Dead that. Yeah, and well, it was a barbecue. When we were making the film, when we were filming it, uh, we referred to it as the Last Supper scene. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I've never killed anybody, so I don't think it harms anybody in a lot of horror movies as a kid. I don't Especially think Especially those guys. I, I certainly don't hope so, but I also hope that you're not setting me up for uh, a lawsuit. <laughs> no, for the, no, no, the, the, no. The years of therapy right. you've had to undergo just to maintain yeah. some normal. I just want my quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> back. You never gave me one in the first place. Good eye, good eye. I want to thank you, man, for doing this. Okay, you're quite welcome. Hey, this is Bill Mosley, and make sure you check out withoutyourhead.com. Uh, Art, we're here with George Casana here at Days of the Dead. How you doing? Well, they only let me out on weekends. Really? And I didn't mean to shoot my grandmother. It just went off four times, and I didn't even know the bow was loaded. Sad times there. Now, you're the sheriff. One of the most iconic horror movies of all time. Yes, I'm also the production manager and the sheriff. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now, would you say that you know that's a movie that really uh, started all the zombie thing? All the zombie movies really owe it all to Night Living Dead. Yes, it's the uh, original, and it's the first. We revolutionized the industry and the way the pictures are made. Mm -hmm. And uh, everything that's out there today is, in my opinion, is either a spin-off of or influenced by our film. Mm -hmm. But we made a picture. The fans made that picture a success. Right. Without them, we have a picture. Mm -hmm. With them, we have a successful picture. Right. So we, they don't owe us. We owe them. Yeah. Now, does that make you, uh, I'm, I guess it make you proud that there's so many zombie movies afterwards, but also, do you ever get kind of like, you know, I wish I'd stop making all these zombie movies? No, I wish I'd get royalties. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can get on. You can get on his uh, quarter list there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is there any uh, any lines of uh, people's favorite? Any of your lines that uh, people have been asking? Oh the yeah. Ones? Well, they're dead. Yeah, they're yeah, all messed up. Stuff, right. I improvised that. That really? was not in the script. I felt like saying it, so I said. It. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever think, you know, so long after you'd still be talking about the movie, be so iconic? When we made it, we had hoped it would give us enough money to do another. One. Mm -hmm. And it took off with a life of its own, and we're grateful for that and glad that it did. Mm -hmm. Thanks, man. I hope you're having a good weekend. I'm talking to Neil at withoutyourhead.com, and I hope you enjoy his program and his show. And Thank good luck to all of you. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Candy apples and a razor blade